Okay, good evening everyone. Welcome to the September 2020, a great year it's been so far. Um, Zoning Board of Appeals meeting, Town of Carmel. Um, the board members' names are in front of you. We apologize, we have a short board this, this evening. We had a couple of members with uh, previous engagements. So uh, we'll try to be as fair and quick as possible for everybody. Um, consultants, Mike Carnazza, uh, Town Code Enforcement Officer, and Joe Charbonneau, our town attorney, is with us this evening. The way we operate is we'll hear the cases. I'm gonna swear you in when you speak. If anyone, both or if it's a couple of you, if you anyone who's gonna be speaking, I gotta swear in as a matter of record, unless you're an attorney, of course. Um, so I'll swear you in, we'll hear the case. Uh, we'll go through, we'll ask questions, whatever is required. And um, we'll ask, once we go through the board members input, we'll ask for public input. And then once we close a public hearing, there's no further input on any case. Uh, and then later on when we adjudicate the cases, we will also require no public input at that time. Will you all please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I just want to remind everybody, try to speak into the uh, microphones as best as possible because this is being recorded for minutes uh, as a matter of town record. So. Um, and like Dominic said, just make sure if you're going to use a mic with your hands, just use the wipe there and, and clean it. Uh, also, I failed to mention, if you're going to be speaking also, just before you leave the podium after speaking, just write your name and address on the uh, paper listed there. Okay, our first case tonight is for Rich and Kim Delahante for a variation of Section 156-15, seeking permission to erect covered porch to front of house, which will encroach on front and side yard setbacks. Property is located at 78 Entrance Way, Mahopak, New York, and it's tax map 74.43-1-22. Good evening, folks. Good evening. How are you? State your names and address for the record. I'm Richard Delahanty, 78 Entrance Way. Just, um, you could turn that up. Kim Delahanty. There's another one there if you, you. you want to speak into that. And you could turn that one down. <laughs> just just angle it. it. Um, yeah. <laughs> How's that? That's good. All right. Um, raise your right hands, please. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So I do. I do. All right. Thank you. All right. Um, bring us through what you're what you're looking to do here. We basically want to construct a covered porch on the front of our house. It it'll allow us <laughs> views to the lake, which right now we have just a small. Um, it's really just a small little deck. It's a landing at our front door. Right. And it's big enough for maybe one chair. And if we look down the street, we have a whole view of the lake from that particular area. Especially with the next season with the leaves going down. Mm -hmm. And right now, you probably it's can't see much, it's, but. It's a, it's a little piece of, you know. Okay. Um, there's no property you can buy to bring it into conformance? Obviously, no. you're landlocked there. We are locked. And there's no septic, right? So that's not an issue. You're no, all, no, we're all on tower. We're up there. Um, have you talked to your neighbors? Yeah. And did you I guys? Mean, you you see, you guys see a picture of it's a sad little house. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was I was up there the other night. It was too late and dark by the time I got up there. But uh, I mean, at first thought, in my mind, I was like, that's going to be too proud of the rest of the houses. Because I thought initially the whole house was coming forward, oh, but then no. I realized that when I saw the drawings again, it was only just the just the covered porch yeah. at the first story height. Yeah. So it's not too encroaching in in, in my mind. So um, I'll open it up to the board members for any comments. Silvio, no questions. Rose. So I'm trying to look at the plans and see how much further it's going to go from the existing porch, whatever you want, little decking. How much further does it go beyond that point? Out, none. Out towards the street, none. Right, it's, towards it's the street. None. It's, it's the existing porch. It's basically going to go the full yes. width of the house then. Okay, so, so it's, it's not going to go further out into the road, except no. for the staircase, I guess. The staircase will the make stair, it. It's, yeah. it's going to be probably two feet into the lawn. Okay, so you'll have... Or two, three, about, I guess. It's only going to be like four steps. So how much grass will you have from the end of the steps to the street? Seven feet. 
seven feet to the is that to the street or is there additional oh, oh to the street i'm sorry to the street. street the front property line i probably yeah because the half our lawn is town property that's what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. what is it how much do you usually have there is no norm could there is no norm it fluctuates could be so while you're saying seven there's probably two another or three. seven another seven potentially Give or take, i would guess right you're about yeah. 15 feet away yes. but, but yeah we're 15 feet from the road to Give the actual Decking? right now the actual the existing deck so we're 15 feet, feet from the street okay give or take you know yeah okay. it's close. roughly so and you're again, not going that far into sorry, the street area you're, you're staying on that same footprint as the front of the deck is now right? yes right. Not any worse there's a there's a little there's a little patio type thing and then there's steps up to it right it everything's going to exist on that same footprint except Just for wider. the stairs except for the stairs because the stairs come out yeah. forward instead of sideways right okay. and i had the architect change the stairs from the center so off to the door right in front of the door so it limits it down you know and it's only going to be i guess the door is 36 so i think it's like 50 something inches wide possibly okay so it's not like something that's it's not too Into super intrusive okay all right that's fine thank you all right, Julie, any questions? No questions. Comments? No. no question. All right, is there any input from the public on this application? All right, I'll ask for a uh, motion to close the hearing on this so application. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, thank you, thank guys. You. Thank you. Again, you guys can stick around. It might be a short night uh, because one of the big cases is, is held over. Uh, I'm sorry, and I should have mentioned that. Um, the case for Stillwater, is, uh, they're asking for a holdover um, as they aren't 100% prepared. Um, so if anybody's here for that application, not to waste your night. <laughs> um, in fact, I'll, I'll look for a motion uh, to carry that or to hold that application over while we're at it. Motion to hold over. Do I have a second? Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. But thank you guys for cleaning. Thank cleaning you. Up. Thank Just you. make sure you, you fill in your, uh, yes, you did it right, okay. Thank you. All right, next application is still water, which we just held over. Uh, third application tonight is Tom and Gail Brandaras for a variation of section 15 seeking permission to relocate the property line and replace existing cedar fence with 133 linear feet of six feet high and 40 linear feet of four feet high PVC fence. Property is located at 592 Barrett Hill Road, Mahopac and tax map 42 point dash one dash 24. Good evening. Okay. Good evening. State your name and address for the record. Thomas Brandaris, 592 Barrett Hill Road, Mayapack, New York. Right hand. Swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so we'll help you God. I do. Thank you, sir. All right, bring us through what you're looking to do. I'm not relocating the property line. The fence is not on the property line right now. It's been there for 30 years. The last storm knocked it down. I want to replace it. Apparently, I cannot put a six-foot fence Further than the front of my house, right. my neighbor's house is 20. The rear of her house is 25 feet in front of the, the front of my house. So I want to <clears throat> have the six-foot fence go to the front of her house. Otherwise, I'm looking into her backyard. Okay, That's the extent of it. And you guys, you guys spoke to one another. She hasn't been around for the last month. Before that, I did speak to her. She even wanted to put in for the fence. She, I'm sorry, she wanted again? to put in for the fence. Okay. But I didn't ask her for that, you know. They're relocating the fence to the property line. Right. It was previously off the property line. And how, how far off the property line was it? It's off 30 inches in the front, 10 feet in the rear. Oh, right. wow. Okay. So you're just going to follow the property line? Mm -hmm. and I have two pins. That's a straight line. All right. So you, you're keeping it four feet from the beginning of the property up to her no. house? Six four. feet from the rear to the front of her house. Then I'll drop it down to four right, feet. I'm, say, I'm saying it in reverse, so. Pardon me. Um, okay. Um, there's no other property you can buy, right? Well, the, not that that matters to you. Not the the you know. um, any other issues with any neighbors? You've, nope. Yeah, any support letters or anything? There's, she's the only one that's available, and she hasn't been around for a month. Okay. Um, and I think I saw there was a picture in there. The fence was kind of old anyway, right? The right, cedar it's a fence. Thirty-year-old fence. Yeah. It's time to, it's, it's to time. put it back. Okay. Um, we'll go from this this side. Bill, any questions? No questions. Concerns? Julie. No questions. Nothing. Silvio. No questions. 
One question. Yeah. How far to the street line is the fence going to be? Right now it ends about 50 feet from the street. And when you replace it, are you going to keep it I'll in that same spot? I'd like to, but down to the four-foot level. Okay. It's going to be four foot feet at that level? In front of her house, from the front of her house to the 40-foot mark, yes, it'll be four feet. And then from your house back, Going it's going back, to be it'll be six feet. So he doesn't need a variance, does he? He's using yeah, her house. Her house is in front of his house. Right. So he, he has to be house. four feet up to the front of his house. His house. But he's going to be oh, six okay, feet gotcha. up to the front of her house. If she was doing uh, it, if she, it would she be would not need right. a variance. She, she would be correct. here. Okay, gotcha. It's fine. That's what I said. Yeah. And I just when wanted you get, to make sure I understood it. When you get to the front, you have to stop at the front pin. You can't go all the way out to the road. Just I'm not going to anyway. I'm 40 feet just back anyway. Sure. Right. You're going to make sure there's 40 feet from the street to where the... Where the fence ends. That's where it ends now. Okay. So it's just going there. Mm -hmm. Okay. she paying for half? No. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Any input or questions from the public on this application? I will look for a motion to close this hearing. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. By Julie. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I guess we ought to sanitize the pen, too, huh? Yes, yeah, sanitize the pen, too. Our <laughs> yeah. right, next application is number four, Salvatore Melinda Franzis for a variation of Section 156-15, seeking permission to retain an already existing deck within two feet of neighbor's property line. The property is located at 35 Sycamore Road, Mohopac, New York. Tax map 76.5-1-7. Good evening, folks. How are you? Um, state your names and address for the record. Melinda Franzese, 35 Sycamore Road, Mayapac. Salvatore Franzese, 35 Sycamore, Mayapac. Right hands. Swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing about the truth, so help you God. I do. I do. Okay, bring us through what brings you here this evening. Uh, we have a deck that's less than 20 feet from, to our neighbor's house, and due to the proximity of our neighborhood, there is no 20 feet space. Okay, you guys are a corner lot too, right? So yes, sir. Like it's the, the rear, the old and rear. the deck almost is in most areas, right? It's under the 12 inches, yeah. But because a portion of it is over, that's the whole right. deck has to. All right, what brings you here tonight? You just got picked um, up. We need the variance that um, our neighbors have okayed, uh, that it's less than 20 feet from their property, okay? But what, what brought you in? You oh, know, just... we're selling our house, okay? Yeah. So. <laughs> and we need to have the oh, yeah, title search cleaned up. <laughs> How long has the deck been there for? It looked like it was... Seven years. Okay. Um, I didn't want to move. <laughs> well, yeah, we didn't. But the we taxes are killing moving. us. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, but our neighbor's uh, deck is also on the property line. Their deck is above us, and we're below... I'm sorry, can you guys just speak more sorry. into the mic so that they can pick it up on the... How's that? Better? Yeah, if, yeah, if you don't mind. Um, <clears throat> our neighbor's pr uh, deck is on the property line and above our property. So there's a retaining wall. And so they look down upon us. Okay. And so our deck is below them, so they don't even see our deck. And they have written um, Kristen <laughs> Stevenson. Should have received an email from her. Uh, yeah, I think we got and something. And several emails from other um, neighbors. Charlie Lang Langwitz. Yep, he's our, across the street from us on the other side. And Kim, Kim. Yeah, they want to help get rid of us. So. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. Kim, McNeil, <laughs> Kim McNeil, I Kim think, McNeil. and Charlie okay. yeah, so and you have, you Renee Sihantis. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, again, I was out there the other night. It was dark. I couldn't see much, and I didn't want to mm -hmm. alert you being on the property, so I tried to see what I could from the road. Mm -hmm. You didn't um, like the lights? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you have an arbol ar a pergola, I guess. A pergola, yes. Right over. Yeah. So that gives you some privacy. Um, there's... What would it cost to relocate this deck if you had oh, to? Oh, no. Yeah, what would well, it cost it, to build it? Let's see. Um, the first section was seven years ago, $1,500, and I did all the work. Okay, so And then material. the second one was 12 1300 because um, the wood was on sale across the street, um, <laughs> yeah. across Route 6 from us, from uh, yeah, rallies the or, One Plus yeah. guys. And because of my veteran status, I got 5% off both the uh, deliveries. 
Nice. But we so, wouldn't be able to relocate the deck to anywhere, really. Or, okay. Uh, but, I mean, sweat equity included. Oh, that's yeah. a good value of, of time and oh, money yes, here. Yes. So. A, chain, a chainsaw, two days, <laughs> and crying. <laughs> a lot of crying. So. There you go. All right. So the neighbor to your immediate left or behind you has no issue or concern. No, or, not at all. it be here? Other um, than being invited to family barbecues, they have no problem. <laughs> okay. Um, and obviously, there's no other property you can purchase to bring it into conformance anyway, because you're landlocked. It's their property right next door. So, Correct. all right. Uh, any questions from the board, Rose? Um, from what I could tell, 33 is the most affected. Is that correct? I, I believe you had a letter from Kristen correct. agreeing to it. So yes. she had no problem with it. And she's the one most affected. Yes. And um, it seems to be screened in that area too. So. There's I'm, like a tree in between the two of you? Oh, yes, we have a tree line, yes. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So it, it's fairly well covered. Yes. So I don't see anything wrong with it. Okay. I think it's good. No questions. Julia, so nothing? Julia? No. No question. Any input from the public on this application in support or against? Okay. Thank you, guys. Uh, look for a motion to close the hearing. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And thank you for your service. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for yours. I know this COVID time stinks for you guys. Yeah. We'll, we'll get through it. All right. Um, the next case this evening is number five of uh, John Berg for a variation of section 156-15 seeking permission to construct a 20 by 11 deck in the front yard. The property is located at 64 Tamarack Road, Mopac, New York. Tax map 76.5-1-14. Good evening, folks. Good evening. State your name and address for the record, please. Uh, John Berg from 64 Tamarack Road, Maypac. Hey, ma'am. And Rebecca LaRoshi, and I'm representing the contractor. Okay. Uh, right hands, please. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. I do. I'm sorry, just state your address, too, for the uh, record. 66 Westridge Road in Warwick, New York. Okay, thank you. All right, um, you guys are looking to build a deck. In so the front right now yard. there's currently a front porch there and it's about four feet in width. So they would just like to make the width a little bit wider so they can actually sit out there and enjoy the view of the lake. Yeah, I was out there the other night. Again, it was, it was dark, but um, I, I got a good sense of what you're looking to do and I, I can understand. Is, is, that, is the kitchen right off of that? Corner? No, it's an office. It's an office, okay. Yeah. But kitchen's I, uh, on the other end. I see you have a clear shot of the lake, and actually the sun was had just set, and I, and I can see why. Yeah. Why yeah. you want to put it's this beautiful. there? Yeah. I mean, it's not very common that we we do that or allow this near the front of the house. It's not a common thing, but mm -hmm. each each case is judged on its own merits, and this for that view of the lake, which is, you know, Lake Mayapack is is the pearl of, of our town. I feel yeah. so. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not too surprised why, why you want to do this. So, um, is there any additional property you could purchase to, to bring this into conformance? No, it, it we owned a lot that empty lot right next to us. Oh, that's an empty lot. That's not well, so, yeah, so that's one. where our septic is out further and back okay. of that. But it's not an individual building lot, it's it's no, no, that's part of our property. Okay. It's a front yard, though, so they would have to buy the road. You know, the, yeah, that's right. the problem. But I mean, but by the same token, it looks like you're you're pretty well screened too. You have a nice bunch of hemlocks and and yeah, yeah evergreen. Yeah. Are you going to maintain some of that there? We're going to take out the the taller ones on either end, and uh, we'll put more shrubs in front. You know, because right. it's going to be a foot. You know, we have that drive-through driveway right there. So, right. Um, so it won't even reach that that driveway right, it won't encroach into where the driveway is yeah okay currently. yeah we'll be uh, i think about a foot to 15 inches away from that okay um all right any questions from the board no, no question julie no so, no yeah. no questions it's Are small variants no questions yeah. really yeah, it's a small variance. <laughs> yeah no, it's very think, small yeah it's one small of our neighbors variance. sent a letter of Oh, yeah, I think yeah. we we got a couple and emails. I got a couple of verbal approvals too. If you need more, I can get written ones. All right. Does anybody in the public on that note have a, any 
questions or concerns on this application? Ma'am? I would just like to... Uh, you, you have to come up so I can, I can record you. I would just like to say that uh, being a member of the community that they live in, I would definitely approve that because I would like to sit on their front porch to watch the sunset. <laughs> but you're leaving. <laughs> That's right, you're moving. You'll be invited back. <laughs> Well, maybe if you build it, they'll stay. One <laughs> caveat, <laughs> a couple bottles of wine. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Might have okay. quid pro quo going on there. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anybody else have any input on this application? All right, I'll look for a motion to close the public hearing. So, so moved. Oh. Uh, second is aye. Silvio? All in favor? Aye. Uh, aye. Okay, thank you, folks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Don't we usually decide who's going to, you know, approve and second? Uh, and Bill, you're, you're slapping tonight. You can quit the talk. And you got one in tonight. Kind of get Julie going. All right, number six tonight, Carl and Lori Potts for a variation of section 156-15, seeking permission to place a pre-constructed shed of same size, shape, and location to replace existing shed destroyed in the storm August 2020. Properties are located at 51 Vista Terrace, Mall Pack, New York. Tax map 75.7-2-3. Good evening, folks. Good evening. Good State evening. your name and address for the record, please. Uh, Skip Carl Potts. Do you Carl mean, Potts. Yeah, just we take well, this off? Tur turn the mic closer, at least so, I mean, we can hear you, but just so, because it's being recorded. If, if you don't have a problem with it, it's, no, it's easier fine. to be heard from. Well, if everyone stays where they are, we're good. That's it. Uh, <laughs> Carl Potts. And your address is? 51 Vista Terrace, Mayapec. Okay, and? Lori Potts, 51 Vista Terrace, Mayapec. Okay, raise your right hands. Swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so we'll help you God. I yes. do. Okay, bring us through it. All right, so in August, a uh, hurricane knocked a tree down, split a metal shed in half with a 10 by 16 metal shed. And yeah, uh, we, we see the pictures. The proof <laughs> is in the pudding. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, now we're in the process of replacing it, and we want to replace it with an identically footprinted shed, 10 by 16, same thing, a little bit shorter, newer, it'll only pretty up the neighborhood, yeah. and um, most of our neighbors, anyone we've contacted, I mean, anyone who's near it, yeah, has, we got a uh, bunch, bunch provided of letters, letters oh, and good. They sent them. Okay. your neighbors. I think we got a couple of emails today. Um, I have personal experience. I grew up in this neighborhood and hung out with the Edgertons, who uh, previously owned the house. Right. Three or four owners before you guys? Three, yeah. Um, so I know that shed's been there by personal experience for a very long time. Um, I guess what, there's no other property you can purchase, right? And it's, it's existing in the same footprint, so it's no, not and, encumbering yeah. anybody. Right. Um, the property owner who is closest has absolutely no problem with it whatsoever, and in fact, sent a letter in. So yeah, what, what was her name? Sent it in. Alexis, uh, Alexis Marbury. Okay. Yeah, was that? I don't That's remember. The was that one of the letters we got? Oh, is it in? Yeah. Oh, it's in the uh, package, right? It's here. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, but we all fell victim of the storm, so maybe this was a blessing in disguise for you guys. So. Well, if we got our, our approval, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and insurance pays for it. Well. <laughs> Most of it. All right, any, any questions, Rose? By any chance, would you consider moving it back a little bit? Because it's very close to the stream. We usually don't like sheds in the front. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate that. And yes, I would consider it. The problem that I have with that is that in back of it, I don't know if everyone's had a chance to look. And if you did, you probably couldn't tell. All of the contents of the shed are now in back of it, in the direction you're talking about. But mo most importantly, under that is a lot of slate. There was a slate patio there and there's a stone um, barbecue, which is very old, like the house. We've been working through the house for seven years. Now we're going outside. I don't want to have to tear that patio out of there and, and the stone, I'll lose it. I mean, there's, and there's no space beyond that because next thing you've got is the garage, basically. There's also a slab. So yeah. the new oh, right, shed right. will go right on that same right slab. Right on top of the yeah. slab. There's a poured that slab that's 10 by 16. We're getting 10 by 16. I'd have to extend that slab back into that patio. Okay. So 
Well, I, I know it's been there for 40 plus years. It's just a shot. And I know you, yeah. before you were in the neighborhood too. I, know. So. I lived in the neighborhood too. Okay. Oh, and about okay. the closeness to the road, when you say the front to the street, yeah. that's on the back street? On Highland View. Yeah. yeah. You guys have two fronts? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you have yeah. two fronts. Yeah, so I went situation. around. I know the neighborhood oh, really well. We've had a lot of uh, foot traffic lately. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right, uh, Sylvia, any questions? Julie? No. No question. All right, any input from the public on this application? I'll look for a motion. Julie? Go ahead, Julie. <laughs> Do I have a second? Second. second. Bill, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, Aye. thank you, folks. Good luck. Thank you. Application number seven, Ocean State Job Lot for a variation of section 156-41C2, seeking per permission to install one 156.31 square foot sign to front elevation of tenant space. The property is located at 983 to 1005 Route 6, Mohopac, New York. Tax map 65.10-1-45. Good evening. John Kmart had a variance for a sign there. But they split the store, so just so you know why they're here for the. Okay. You read my mind because I was going to ask that question. I know. I just wanted to tell everybody up yeah. ahead of time because it's it's a split, so it's not necessarily the same size store. So I didn't know if you guys would feel comfortable with the same variance for something that wasn't. Okay. We'll, the same we'll go size through it building. and we'll hear the facts. Good evening. State your name and address for the record. My name is Chad Schwinnard. Uh, address is 105 Curtis Avenue in Marlboro, Mass. Representative for Ocean State Job Lot, construction manager. Okay. Raise your right hand, please. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. All right. Uh, bring us through your uh, variance request. Yeah, so the uh, Kmart, so Ocean State Job Lot, we took a portion of the existing Kmart footprint and opened a, uh, a retail store there. And um, currently, we have installed a 40 square foot um, box cabinet sign which is a little small for, um, it has our corporate branding on it. It's a little tiny for that facade. So we're looking to increase to our standard uh, corporate sizes and colors on the facade of that entrance over that entrance. Do you know what the previous, or maybe Mike, you know what the previous variance was for Kmart? We looked it up too, I just, Did I don't remember. I don't no, remember I, what it was I know. Exactly. I know it was close. I mean, looking at the, it looks comparable. It looks like it's comparable to what yeah. you guys are proposing. But Mike does bring up a good point. What's what's happening with the other side of that, the whole storefront? So right now we're uh, leasing the entire space, and at some future point, if the landlord opts to lease that space out, a new devising wall will be constructed inside, right. and then a new entrance would be cut in for whoever that tenant is. Um, and I would imagine at that point they would want to have their own sign over whatever that space is. Uh, there's maybe also be an opportunity in the future where Ocean State would expand into that space. Um, and that's not a guarantee, so we gotta we yep. have to consider that. Yep. Um, I mean, it, it makes sense because you're, you're putting in that in that same main precipice, that main entryway, but. It looks like it's a little bigger than what, what Kmart was. Kmart sign was a little different because they had the big K. And then the and then Mart. The Mart was, and then that pharmacy was, on the side, if you remember. What was it? A pharmacy. You gave them a variant for a pharmacy sign to the left. That's it was the uh, mortar and pestle or whatever it is with the pharmacy written on there. Right, oh, right. Wow. So that they were allowed <laughs> to have a second sign on the, pro on the building. So they had a little more square footage, in essence, with, with the two signs. Yep. <coughs> I don't remember what Caldor was like. Caldor was arches. Yeah, the big arches. Yeah, the three. Green, orange, and gold, maybe. Yeah. I mean, not green, brown. Orange yeah, as well. Brown, orange, and yellow, or something like that. I mean, how, how stuck are you guys on these dimensions? Can we bring this down a little bit? It's not fabricated yet, I hope. It is fabricated, but it's, like I said, it's a standard uh, sign for us, so we could repurpose it for another location. We've got several under construction now. Okay. But we could certainly revisit the dimensions and scale it down a little bit. Um. This last <clears throat> elevation drawing. Where's the, I guess the third from, that's oh, page six of 10. <clears throat> Again, I mean, looking at 
just serving from memory, this seems like it's a little bigger than what the Kmart sign used to be. And knowing that there's unsurety of you guys leasing the whole store, I'm a little un uncomfortable with going as big here. Um, you know, you have, what, 14, uh, it's 22 feet, four inches long by seven feet. And Mike, we usually complete a square, even so though it's, it's the not- the smallest square to encase the entire <laughs> side. So if it's a circle, you don't have to do pi or square or whatever. Yeah. You just do a square around it. Um, in the interest of, of negotiation here and, and, you know, trying to meet you some, somewhat, can we bring this thing down maybe like six feet tall by 20 feet? I'm not just throwing some numbers out there. I don't know what the rest of the board members think and, and we'll pull you guys, but, um, you know, it'd still look pretty decent in, in that main entryway or that part of the facade, mm -hmm. but the thing, still. The only thing I would ask is that you don't do dimensions that way. Give an overall square footage because they have to make it, you can't just squat it and yeah, we gotta it's a long word. Ocean yeah, State Job Okay, okay. Stay scale it down. down they have to, Understood. Don't put the, you know, if you give me an overall number, that's fine, <clears throat> but to make them go with six, it could look like squatty. Yeah, right. So yeah, if we tried to the hold. Square footage is easier than doing the other way. If you you're providing 156.31. I'm just going to propose like 130, 135, something like that. That yep. will get this down a little bit and be not so obtrusive. Yeah. But I think you'll you'll still it's going to be a, a backlit sign anyway. So at night It'll you'll be see it. Correct. And yes. it's red on during the day, even as this picture shows. It's red on a facade, so it's going to stand out regardless. Correct. Yep. LED uh, red on that brown field. Yeah. Yeah. So. We tried to hold. We when we looked at the Kmart, we tried to hold oh, the tried is. to hold the edges, uh, the horizontal extents of the sign within the same. Um, offset from those pilaster features that are on the facade. That's the actual? This is the actual, the, yeah. The old, yeah, this is the old Kmart. So we use these borders of the edges to set. Yeah, they have that little swoosh there that yeah. comes out yeah. a little further, yeah. so. And they also have a uh, sign on the freestanding, so it's not like nobody knows where it is, so that does help them also. On the street sign. Street sign, yeah, yeah. the yeah. pylon sign. Yeah, there is a uh, panel just below the stop and shop sign. There's a panel in the pylon for the center. Okay. I was going to say, you didn't put it in yet, did you? I'm sorry? You didn't put it in yet, though, did you? Yeah, it went in this morning. Oh, this morning. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's my neighborhood. I should know where that is. You didn't put in what? I didn't think they put it in yet. You just put it in this morning. The pylon. It was supposed to be in a oh. long time ago. We won't go down that road. <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> all right, so that, that's just my thoughts, and, and we'll see what everyone else thinks. Bill, do you have any input? I'd be, I'd be fine if they dropped it down to 135. You said you already had the pylon out there. You're just trying to get noticed when you pull into the parking lot. Right. Yeah, we're trying to get some visibility from that approach. As you come down with Dunkin' Donuts on the right, in wintertime yeah. you can see it great, but summertime we're a little obstructed yeah, until geezer. you get yeah, to that entrance. Yeah. All right, Julie, any uh, questions or input? <clears throat> Sylvia? I think 135 is fine. All right, sound fair? I mean, we don't want to kill you, but we Reasonable let's, let's minimize the variance when, when and where we can. Sure. Rose? You know I have a question. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> Looking at the front of the building, I haven't been inside. I've been on the outside of it. Where does it end? Where does it start and end? Does it end here? No. It does ends, it continue uh, on? Yeah, it's probably. It ends to the left of the glass. Almost where that, that Correct. Where this hole is. Hole is? Yeah, where that entrance feature is on the left side, uh, that's pretty much where the fixture wall or future demising wall would be. We have everything off to the right. So as you enter the store, everything to the right of that is ours. So it, it ends on the left side, right where that pole is. Correct. Essentially, yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Actually, that, that's shown on, right, on this floor plan. Is that the demising? What page is that? Great. Or is that truly the, ne the existing demising wall to the empty, I think it's an empty spot there, right next to the building, the actual old Kmart building. No, the that's a dress John. barn or whatever it yeah. was, the shoe store, it may be. No, John, I think that's all Kmart, that, that other. Yeah, that's the whole footprint. That's the whole thing. The shaded region and the gray is um, so, I mean, 
the space that we occupy. I was in a store once, so I'm going to guess it's been space is over an acre, correct? So over it's about acre. three quarters of the Kmart size, would you say? Three Give quarters? or take, yeah. yep. A little over half. So okay. whoever comes to us in the future, obviously we're going to make it proportionate. Right. We're, not put, we're not going to let them put the same size sign up. I right. would think. Right, we wouldn't, but I wanted to see right. if we can cut back this. If this is three quarters, we should think about that for this area. Okay, that's my only question. All right, so are you willing to come down to 135 square feet? We can do 135 square feet. Okay, and I'm, you know, I'm sure you'll, you'll keep your same uh, corporate layout. It'll just Shrink down, shrink down a little bit. Yeah, we'll scale it all down to fit within okay. that. No, we appreciate you, you working with us, too. Yeah, not a problem. Is there any input from the public on this application? Has anybody shopped there yet? Yes. I did. <laughs> Good. Um, so, uh, all right. Well, Thank I'll you. Look, I'll look for a motion to close the hearing. So moved. Second. Julie, wow. Good girl. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, yeah, we got to change the application, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, please. Jack, just I'm going to need you to sign the uh... initial the changes once he makes it. Please. Mike, the on on the cover? The one that... It says original on it. Yeah. It looks like it's on the it. print. So... Be 135 less 40. So be 90. 40 is allowed. 135 is 95. there. Variance at 90. Right. No, 40. 95. 95. 95, yes, sir. Still thinking of the high line time at 35. Chad, if you don't think I might just. hearing on all applications is closed and we're going to go through and, and vote on the applications back to the beginning of the page all right on uh, number one Delahante I look for a motion motion to grant do I have a second second by Silvio all in favor all right all right granted number two was held over Uh, number three, Brendares, I'll look for a motion. Motion to grant. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, granted. Uh, number four, Francis, look for a motion. Motion to grant. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, that's granted. Uh, number five, Berg, look for a motion. Motion to grant. Second. Second. Silvio, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Granted. Uh, number six, Potts, look for a motion. Motion to grant. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. That's granted. And number seven, Ocean State Job Lot. Motion to grant as amended. Do I have a second? Second. Amended at 135 square feet, as was agreed to by the applicant. Any discussion? I'll look, um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you all. Uh, there are no meetings tonight, uh, minutes tonight to vote on, so we'll hopefully have them next month. And I uh, hope you all stay safe and uh, be well. Thank you all. Good night. <laughs>